Hi. Welcome to the lecture number 27 of EDC. We are still in the first module BSP that is basic semiconductor physics. Now this is the fourth lecture video of Hall effect. Now th in this lecture video we are going to discuss about couple of important conclusions from Hall effect. Now starting the first conclusion first point uh, the through Hall effect the measurement of mobility is possible that what we have discussed in our second video lecture majority of charge carriers is possible majority of magnetic flux density is also possible because the magnetic flux density involves in terms of ma transverse magnetic field measurement of displacement is also possible but hall effect doesn't give us the exact position of carrier the idea of the exact position of the carrier wo hame hall effect se we don't get okay also in hall effect we can't calculate the dp and dn that is the diffusion constant what are the what is the meaning of diffusion constant we'll get into this entire analysis of diffusions minority carrier injection in uh, in a next after just the end of fermi energy level now hall effects also helps us uh, helps us to give uh, the measurement of power in electromagnetic flux okay now moving on to our next point okay there is two very simple points are there hall effect doesn't give the clarity on the type of semiconductor it doesn't matter what uh, what type of semiconductor it is we don't get any kind of clarity uh, from hall effect ki what type of semiconductor is is this specimen is the specimen that we are using on the transverse magnetic field what is the uh, type of semiconductor whether it is a n type or, or it is a p type or it is a extrinsic semiconductor iske bare mein we don't get any kind of clarity okay so you can take it as a limitation now there is one very simple point is here if this is a specimen if this is a device okay this is your device on which uh, we are doing the experiment so this these are the input uh, one is in the form of current and another is in a form of voltage and the hall voltage and the output side that we are getting in terms of output that is the hall voltage now this hall voltage is always proportional to the product of two input always hall voltage is proportional to the product of two input always hall voltage is proportional to the product of these two input current and voltage please remember this point this point is extremely important so we can say hall experiment can be used as hall multiplier now these uh, seven points seven important conclusions i wrote it down in a proper way so that it can be helpful for your gate and esc exams I request you to go through these slides once again instead of watching this video again and again uh, and to write down these uh, notes from the video instead of doing that you can go to the description menu and find these seven points uh, over there thank you so much for watching this video bye